Hello fellow students, welcome back to StudyBuddy. In today's lesson, we will be continuing with our journey to our GCC maths. That where we have been approaching here is that we are looking at rearranging multivariable equations. And then the reason that is going to be important to you here is that in general case state scenarios, the questions that you're going to get from a linear equation is not going to be this simple. They are not just going to be, you know, one unknown and they want you to find it. What they're going to do is that in order to make you complicated and make you think on this, they are going to add up different variables. Okay. And then the thing that I want you to understand here is that if you have something like x plus y is equal to 5, yeah, you can rearrange this formula to, for instance, y is equal to 5 minus x. But however, since you have two unknowns, but only one equation, you can never solve the given example. Okay. No matter what do you do, it is impossible to solve this. The most important thing for you to understand is that if we have two unknowns and one equation, let's just do our equation in a different color, yeah, red, you cannot solve it. If I also say you something like y is equal to 3, then you can easily solve it. Why? Because you're going to put 3 inside of y, you will have x plus 3 will be equal to 5, your x will be equal to 2. Okay, you can approach in this manner, but if you're going to have two unknowns, you must have two equations. Okay, if I even give you something like x plus y is equal to 5, and I say to you z is equal to 3, it won't work. Because now you have three equations, no sorry, two equations, but three unknowns. Okay, keep that in mind. Keep this in mind. Unknowns must be equal to the number of equations you have. Okay, otherwise this is unsolvable. You know, what I do here is that I'm going to again solve three questions with you and then we will look into it later. So let's just go to our first question, shall we? Let's just also convert it into black again. So in our questions, I am giving you something like 2x plus 3y is equal to 10. Okay. As you can see here, this equation is not solvable. But the reason that I am giving you this lesson is that I want you to be familiar in how they look and how they feel. So what you can do here is that you can say 2x will be equal to 10 minus 3y, or you can say 3y will be equal to 10 minus 2x, okay? There can be ways that you can try to modify them, maybe even simpler than here, but there is no need for that because I want you to know that it is very easy to move them around. Or one final way of doing it, you can just take the 10 to the left hand side. You can have 2x plus 3y minus 10 will be equal to 0. Okay? There is possibly, make it a little bit more simpler if, if you work hard on this. But, you know, probably it is going to be again in a similar manner because, again, two unknowns, one equation. Okay? Not solvable. But I want you to get familiar with it, what we can do with these topics. Let's go to the next one. We have basically what? 3x minus 2y plus 5z is equal to 15. Now, in this case, rather than doing it in two different ways, keeping x, y there, you can keep in three different ways. You can keep x, y, and z. So let's just do that. So you can say 3x will be equal to 15 plus 2y minus 5z. Okay. Then you can say 2y will be equal to, let's just do this, minus parentheses, 15 minus 3x minus 5z. Okay, the reason I put the 2 minus 2y, you know, the parent minus to the other side, it makes the equation look better because they are just, you know, unknowns on the left hand side. Or you can also say 5z will be equal to 15 minus 3x plus 2y. You can probably make this more simplified. There is probably different ways of writing this. Yeah, but there is no need to get into that. I just want you to know that there are three unknowns. They add in a certain way. They make 15. That's the most important to, to understand, okay? Let's go to our last question here. Again, we, we again have three unknowns. And, you know, it is not just limited to one, two, three. This can be ten. But, you know, this is going to make the writing harder. So, I didn't want to give examples for that. But, you know, to keep the team simpler, you can have one unknowns, two unknowns, or three unknowns. That would be a very uh, possible fact that when you are going, going forward with this, okay? And in this case, you can do it in a different way as well. What you, uh, what you can do here is that you will have 4x will be equal to 6 minus 2y plus z, yeah? You can have 
2y will be equal to 6 minus 4x plus z. Or you can have z is equal to, minus parentheses, 6 minus 4x minus 2y. Okay? You can rewrite them in the same manner, but still again, you have three unknowns and one equation. There is no way you can solve this question. So there is really no need to go deeper into this and trying to find out how it is written. But the most important thing that you should get from this lesson is that they can have three unknowns. They can have four unknowns. They can have five unknowns. And they will still be classified as linear equations. Okay? Because these equations, it doesn't require another number that has a power that is more than one. So this is still linear. They are linearly combined to make something happen. Okay, that's the most important thing. They are still linears. Do, do not forget that, okay? So, you know, that's what is, uh, today's lesson is all about. So, yeah, thank you for showing up to our lesson again. And, uh, you know, see you later, my, my fellow students. Take care. Have a great day. Take care.